announce our top five, and you can feel the tension throughout the arena at the moment. We are all waiting to hear who will be moving on. Twelve delegates just finished the evening gown round. Let's find out which one of them will advance. The first delegate moving into the top five is... Nigeria! The next finalist joining her is... Mexico! <laughs> Heading to the top five is... Denmark! The fourth spot goes to Thailand! And now it's time for our last spot. Only one more will move on. The last woman still in the running is... Venezuela! in their potential role as Miss Universe. Now each delegate will step up and draw a selection committee member's name at random from the bowl right here. That judge will then ask them a question and the del delegate will have 30 seconds to answer. When their time's up, we'll hear this sound. And of course, we will provide interpreters for delegates who have asked for them in advance. Okay. Nigeria, you are up first. Please approach and choose a name. Thank you. Okay, Miss Nigeria, you have chosen number seven, Michael Cinco. Michael, what is your question for Miss Nigeria? What is more important, being liked or being respected, and why? Can you repeat the question? What is more important to you, being liked or being respected, and why? I feel like it's being respected. We live in a society where we often don't feel respected because of who we are. And I feel like when you respect yourself, you respect others around you. And respect is really important. Thank you. Mexico, it is your turn. Please come and choose a name. Gracias. You chose number four, Camila Gurevitae. 
Mexico, when something bad is happening in your life, what gives you power to keep going? To keep going in my life is my mom. Through his fight of cancer, right now I'm feeling very happy to be here to represent his resilience, his perseverance, and his <laughs> discipline about all this illness. I want to invite you to always feel your dreams. And as a powerful woman say, Diana de Gales, I want to be the queen of the people's heart. <laughs> Denmark, please come over and pick a name from the bowl. Okay, Miss Denmark, you chose judge number one, Lily Pong, Lily Pong. Hi. How would you live your life differently if you knew nobody would judge you? Thank you for the question. Hola, Mexico! I would never change how I live my life. We learn from our mistakes. We learn every day. We learn something new and we gotta take that. We gotta take that and bring it to the future. And that's why I live each day by each day and I just gotta stay positive and yeah, so no, I will not change nothing. Thank you, Miss Denmark. Thailand, it is time for your question. Please approach and pick a name. Thailand, you chose number five, Gary Nader. How are you? What qualities must someone have to be a truly successful leader for you? A quality that a leader should have for me is empathy. Because no matter how good you are, no matter what kind of education you are, in the end, you need empathy to care about your people, to care about their well-being. And not only leader, I believe that everyone in this world needs to have empathy among each other. That's how we can unite. Thank you, Thailand. All right, it's time for the last question. Venezuela, please come pick a name from the selection committee. Translator, please. Okay, you have chosen number two, Margaret Gardner. Margaret, what is your question for Miss Venezuela? Describe the ideal woman of today and what you have in common with her. Buenas noches, México. Mi momento ideal del día de hoy fue compartir y celebrar a todas las 127 mujeres que estuvimos aquí en el escenario. Dejando atrás las barreras, dejando atrás las diferencias y uniéndonos, dando un mensaje al mundo de respeto, de amor y unión, porque así se construye el mundo. Gracias. Yes. Good evening, Mexico. My ideal moment today has been sharing with these amazing 127 women from all across the world, leaving behind our differences and sending the world a message of respect love and union because that's the way the world is built. Thank you, Miss Venezuela. Those are some great answers, ladies. Thank you so much. And a big thanks.
to the top five and to our committee. Zuri and Catriona, what do you think? Oh, the final question round is still to come. If you could ask all of tonight's delegates one question, what would you ask? Hmm, I would ask them if they weren't going to bring home the Miss Universe crown tonight and they were given the opportunity to use a time machine, would they go back and redo Ooh. their performance? Yes or no? That's a good question. Because you could go either way. You could be personality like, oh, I wish I had an extra shot of caffeine before getting out on that right. stage. Or maybe, you know, destiny, it is what What's it is. What's done is done. I mean, the ladies really held it down with this first round of questions. Absolutely. Thailand talking about empathy being needed oh, for I leadership. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the Miss Universe is going to do is lead her people. So I love that answer. We're getting down to the wire and one more question round is on the way. This is Miss Universe live from Mexico on the Roku channel.